we have a returning segment that disappeared for a while because the last couple of weeks really nothing came out. It was the holidays, stuff like that. So we're back to rapid fire now, Randy. You know, you kind of have the gist of this. I'm going to give you a new movie that comes out, and all you have to say is, "Yes, I'll see it." No. Or what? What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah. Some people include maybe, but it's yeah. not supposed to be it. <laughs> so we're going to start off with a new movie coming out at theaters this week. There's two of them. Uh, this one's called The Escape Room. It's an extreme escape room that tries to kill you. Oh, uh, it's a Saw It's a horror movie? It's a horror movie, but I don't think it has nothing to do with Saw. Is it like a, a they take horror 12, porn or Saw? Like, they yeah. take 12, 20-something-year-old people, stick them in a room, figure out how to get out of this room where the room explodes. Oh, you know, wow. it's one of those deals. No. Uh, no. Any names in it? No. Uh, the red-headed girl from True Blood. <laughs> Randy's out. Uh, the, that's about <laughs> it. Uh, for me, it's a no. Randy, what do you say about that movie? I say no. And that, no, <laughs> Charles? Like... I'm a no. I didn't know anything about it, yeah, honestly. I've, I've I didn't seen, hear I, I heard about it. Yeah, I think someone like Bert's into it, I'm sure. Yeah, he probably watch it. Poor guys. There are a couple commercials for it. Now, this next one's a Chinese movie. I'm not even sure. It's a sequel to something. Mojin? Mojin Worm <laughs> Valley. It's, it looks like a, uh, Dragon Ball Z came to life type kind of medieval war. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's and I'm a what on Randy's <laughs> too as well. Yeah, Mojin. Yeah, so Mojin. that's at the movies. Now, on Blu-ray, the, you guys will probably all heard of these. The first one is Bad Times at the Old El, Ro- El Royal. It has uh, it's got Ford, Jeff Daniels in it. Yeah, ton of yeah, people in it. It's got. I, I'm a yes. I don't watch anything. Yeah. Randy? Yeah, I, I saw that too. I, I was kind of interested in it. Yeah, and I also I think it's it. a Coen Brothers movie. I could be yeah, wrong on that too. I'm, I'm, de- I'm a definite yes on that. Next one, is, I wouldn't see it in the theater, but I definitely am yeah, interested. Yeah, in it. Well, these are on Blu-ray, so you can't yeah. see it in the theater already. <laughs> so the next one is Kevin Hart's back with Tiffany Haddish. Uh, it was that bad comedy Night School that came out back in September. Uh, I mean, yes, I'll watch anything on Blu-ray. <laughs> Randy? <laughs> that's how he know. had successful I, yeah. rental business. I mean, I like Kevin Hart, so yeah, I'd probably yeah. watch it. I'm going to wait for HBO on that one. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Now, this next one is called AXL. It was a sci-fi movie. Uh, it came out probably in August. It was very low budget. It had like a robotic dog and stuff. I saw like one. Oh, one. I know exactly. This is terrible. Yeah, I want to say. I know no exactly what you are, Randy. Yeah. He are had like a like a. <laughs> well, I won't rent it. <laughs> I'll probably run it, watch it. You will Netflix catch it later. Yeah. You'll catch it later on the cable. Oh know. my god! But yeah, he's got like a robotic dog. Yeah, it looks yeah. so bad. I'm a definite no on this one. <laughs> and this last one, this is carrying on the legend of John Cena. Yeah, this the is Marine. a WWE movie. The Marine Six, starring who? The Miz. Oh, The Miz. The Miz. I wonder is who is in it. Uh, no, because all six of those suck. Yeah. Randy, will you want to see The Marine? What? <laughs> <laughs> I know I what The I Marine is. I'm with Steve on this one. It was a John Cena vehicle for sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm a no. Yeah. <laughs> now, new to streaming, actually, two of these are from Amazon. Uh, the first one's Beautiful Boy. Steve Carell is a father of a, I was a say, drug give me 30 addict seconds on of that a one. drug addict son. Are we still on? Hold on. Are He's we still, still on serious Steve Carell? Yes, yeah, Steve Carell keeps doing serious What happened to movies? Michael Scott? Why can't he get funny Steve Carell? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I might watch that. But no. yeah. Beautiful I'm Boy no. is the name of it on Amazon. I'm a no, Randy. I'm a no. I'm a no. I want funny Steve Carell He's so bad. He's still doing his Hallmark Steve Carell yeah. right now. Uh, this one I just Good saw point. the previews for. It's a comedy kind of about a, a little girl in eighth grade and life in eighth grade. I kind of want to watch it with Holly just to see how legit it is. It's called Eighth Grade. Uh, yeah, it's about is a little, it a documentary or is it scripted? No, it, it's a scripted movie about a kid's life in the eighth grade. and She's a little nerdy girl, I guess. Kind of right up to Holly's alley, to be honest with you. So I'll probably watch it with Holly, so I'm a yes. Ready? I might watch it with my grandkid. You know? How old's your grandkid? Which one? <laughs> oh wow, you got grandkids, huh? Them. Yeah. Uh, well, she's nine. If I get, she's in Virginia right now. Oh wow. But, uh, yeah. Well, and Charles, I'm a no. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now T Swizzle's back in a giant tour a tour movie on Netflix. Taylor Swift Reputation Stadium Tour Netflix. A uh, no. But is it a concert or yeah, is it like a, a behind the scenes? No, I saw it yesterday. I was going through Netflix. I didn't watch it. Oh, you know, I saw <laughs> Randy, Randy, no, I saw the. I don't oh. Know. So I'm a no, Randy. Are you yes? No. Well, I did, I'm a what? I didn't know what it was. It's just a concert movie for with uh, oh, Taylor Swift. Now some of these uh, songs that came out, I have no idea what any of these are. Uh, Chrome Sparks, Be on Fire. A no, because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Randy. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, uh, Tank Washington. He's he looked like a rapper. One eight three. Uh, no. No. What does one eight three mean? I don't know, but that's his. Uh, I'm a no. Of, <laughs> I'm guessing yeah. it's a cop code for something. 
One eight seven, I thought was like. Well, maybe one eight three, something more mild, oh, like well. spray painting a wall or something. Oh, it's for tag. And then Pleasure Venom, I had to put on there because that is the best name. <laughs> the name of the group is Pleasure Venom. What do you think? Is that alternative? What's Pleasure Venom? It's got to be alternative, right? Uh, I I, it's a no, but uh, Randy, you want some Pleasure Venom? Uh, that's no, sort of weird. No, 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 it's not sort of really creepy. Yeah, it does sound creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a no on I'm pleasure venom. Venom. <laughs> Someone's gonna watch this YouTube video and get pissed that I we saw that denied dirt. pleasure venom. Yeah, we got a couple comments. I saw that Brooklyn Nine Nine commercial. I thought that looked funny. I've never watched the show. You haven't watched Brooklyn Nine Nine? It's it an old Fox funny. show yeah. that got so it's by the same creators of The Office, Parks and Rec, okay, all that all right. stuff, and it's about a precinct in Brooklyn. And it's got and Andy Sandberg and it, it, it's not as good as The Office or Parks and Rec, but it's okay. a decent show. You know? I catch it on TBS a lot, like four or five episodes. Yeah. It, to me, like two or three episodes are really funny, and then a couple episodes are kind of. Eh. It's yeah. very up and down. Yeah, I agree. Do you like Andy Sandberg? Yeah, and then, then you'll yeah, probably you'll like it. it. It's it's a good show. It's, it, I think it deserved to be rescued. I don't think Fox should have canceled it. Yeah, in my two yeah. cents. Hmm. Comparing to some of the crap Fox has, I mean, yeah. a Secret Singer and. <laughs> yeah, Gordon Ramsay in seventy-two different shows. 